It has totally been a while. Like, that's crazy. I have not filmed one of these in uh, two months, bro. And we're about to totally go into why your boy took a straight up huge ass break from posting anything. I I have like 30 plus of your questions piled up um, and I'm not here to apologize or explain. Let me use a better share. Share is the default word. Um, if you see my Instagram, you know I voted for myself. And uh, there is like a whole reaction to your boy voting for himself that I consciously didn't expect, but I see now <clears throat> that my spirit purposefully uh, put me in that position so I can then make this video and fully explain uh, the history of this country <laughs> and why you should care about the history of this country in terms of voting and why like this is all just, of course, spiritual warfare and the best thing that we can do is believe in ourselves. That is the point of this video. I waited a solid two months to make this video. I didn't want to make other cosmic conversations. That's why your questions have just been coming in and I have not addressed them because I did not want to seem like I was attacking any of the people whose comments I'm about to be directly responding to here. Um, so I feel like two whole ass months is more than enough time for like the hundred plus people who unfollowed me and everyone else who like really does not care to leave. And then of course, like the people in my life who are just like, Chase, what's wrong with you? I care about you and you need to participate in this shit that we are. Well, uh, let me explain some history to you. And maybe you won't want to participate in a whole narcissistic, abusive slave state anymore and uh, killing yourselves. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not in control of you. I'm not a big fan of killing myself and I'm not a big fan of supporting people who want to kill me. And that was a big reason why I voted for myself. So we're about to, yes, first get into just the, the quick like cliff, cliff, cliffity cliff notes of the history of North America, um, why the government has set up voting the way it is, uh, why we've had presidents like this, why this country has come up to this point, and why nothing will change as long as people continue to do the same thing that they've been doing for centuries. Okay, bet. So let's talk about the history of uh, what we call America. Of course, it was known by totally different names that we do not have the awareness of because the Europeans who run the government that we live under murdered, raped, and just eliminated all of the cultures that were there first and homogenized them and stole everything that worked for them and turned it into this. So here we are. Uh, your boy is Catawba. I'm like straight up Catawba indigenous. Uh, most of my family is Christian uh, and most of them do go by the label black, which I will be explaining what happens psychologically with slavery and why all these indigenous peoples are now walking around thinking that they're from somewhere else. And again, it's all about voting, bro. This is all about the government. If you really think that the entity who enslaved you is going to give you the keys or give you what you need to uh, liberate yourself, then yeah, you're the perfect slave. You're like the perfect person for them to keep forever, basically. So, cliff notes. Indigenous peoples are here, North America, right? And Freemasons, Europeans, Christopher Columbus, uh, the Queen, uh, England, all those factions, hella European uh, nations wanted to start invading this land because it was the New World. And we kind of like know that story, but no, I cannot assume at all or else we would not be in this predicament. So this is what happened. Europeans came over. They were not able to live without the indigenous people's help. Uh, the Native Americans actually had to give them hella tools, including the idea of democracy. Uh, that came from the Iroquois Nation, uh, the Great Laws of Peace. That's a whole thing. You can look that up. 
uh, the U.S. government has openly acknowledged that its constitution is basically ripped off. It's like a watered, whitewashed version, um, man-washed version as well, of the great laws of peace, of what the indigenous peoples had going on here. That was their democracy. Of course, we learned in school that the indigenous peoples did not have a democracy. In reality, the Europeans didn't, and the indigenous peoples had to give them theirs. Cool, right? Because the Europeans, basically, when they were coming over to North and South America, they were fighting inside of themselves. And the indigenous peoples here are such good humans, they didn't want to see the British and French killing each other. So they gave them the systems that helped their tribes not kill each other anymore. And that's what the democracy is. So even our whole concept of what government should be is indigenous. It's, it was stolen and perverted so that they could steal the land and keep stealing the land and keep enslaving everybody from realizing that they have no right to keep doing this. And voting is a big part of making you agree like they do have the right to keep doing it. So, Freemasons, they come over, rape, murder all the indigenous peoples, and basically as they're killing these indigenous peoples and figuring out ways to steal their land, they had to figure out some kind of system that they could create just for the Europeans to um, create their new world, right? So they're creating ways to exclude the indigenous peoples. A big part of excluding the indigenous peoples was making them think they weren't even indigenous. And this is what's up with why uh, all these people are walking around here thinking that they were brought from Africa and that they've always been slaves, when in reality, they were just lied to about their heritage. Break this down real easy, bro. Like, simple. Because just think about it like this. Think about you're living in a country and you have your own land, you have your own language, you have your whole own culture, and then other people come. And this other invading group, you help them because you're not a bad person. You don't immediately kill people when they land on your land. These people are immediately thinking about how they can manipulate that side of you. So, and this is assuming you're a spirit that's taken multiple bodies, right? Because no one human can experience this. We're talking about like the timeline of erasing cultures, okay? So the indigenous peoples, they have their own thing. The Europeans come over and over, you know, a hundred years or whatever, 200 years, um, the Europeans start to homogenize and take over the indigenous peoples, you know, crusade stuff. If you don't believe in Jesus, we have the right to kill you. Normal Christian uh, colonialism fair. Uh, but, of course, with all the psychological manipulation that is involved with creating 375 treaties, every treaty being, hey, we're friends and we're not going to take your land again. All right. That's the U.S. government, by the way. This is how the U.S. government built this country was creating 375 treaties every time with the lie that they would not steal land while behind closed doors, they only made that treaty with the intention to take more land. You want me to vote? Let's expand your awareness more if you're not aware of this. So indigenous peoples, they then were manipulated as they were being enslaved and murdered um, and being forced to migrate across the land. So what they're doing is moving all these indigenous peoples that don't speak each other's languages because North America's fucking huge. They're doing this and what they're able to do then is once they change the language of everyone, they control how everyone thinks about themselves. This is what we're experiencing right now. All these people fighting for being black when the people who colonized you taught you what black is. And so the more these humans, as indigenous peoples, um, conform to this idea, they are conforming to the story that's been set out for them. And what is that story? That you're a slave. This is the whole, this is the mental warfare, right? This is um, what, so what happened is when these indigenous peoples are being forced to migrate across the country and be slaves in parts of the land that they can't communicate with other indigenous peoples, it might be a rival tribe, whatever, the only language that they're able to start speaking at this point is English. 
because this is the point. This is why we're here now and everyone speaks English. This was the point was these English people, these European powers coming in and raping, destroying, dehumanizing, brutalizing everybody and everything and twisting it into their own slavery purposes. And the big part of that is erasing the languages that we created and instead giving us their own. So what happened is over those centuries as indigenous peoples were forced to stop practicing their religion, their spirituality, and practicing their languages, they're forced to practice the Bible and English. Look look at that. Look, you see how like simple this is when you just look at history? And it's like you can't really get lost in lies anymore. It's pretty awesome. I love time traveling, bro. So <laughs> this is truly like this is the warfare. Like this is what we're talking about. So once these indigenous peoples are after like so many centuries of slavery and being forced to just move around and have their family split apart and just build an identity based on what the slave master is giving them, which is, hey, you're not allowed to read or write. And your only religion is the Bible, which in the Bible, God wants us to enslave you. That's how this country was built. Christianity, the whole agenda was, yeah, God gave white people the right over all other people. This is how Europeans, Freemasons wrote the Bible. And then Europeans use that book that they wrote based on all the spiritual texts that they stole from ancient cultures. Yet again, always stolen from ancient cultures first. They can't make up their own stuff. Colonialism. All this is to enslave. Like we can like go further back in history. I'd love to, but I only have so much time with you. And... <laughs> And this is about voting. We're here. This is about the present day. So we're talking about the U.S. This is the history of the U.S. and why all now all these black people, basically what had happened was indigenous peoples, as they were forced to learn English, they learned that the Europeans were calling them black. And then they had to learn what black meant. Black means that you are from another country. Boom. This is how you erase identity. Now we have centuries of all these indigenous peoples after you know slavery centuries of slavery they are now living by this lie and building all of their identity so we're living this right now every all these people building their identities on the lie that they are black when in reality that agenda of white and black was created by religious people who are using the bible to push this very puritan uh, christian idea so that they could psychologically convince all the European masses to be on board with slavery so that they could build all this economy in the first place. And then we could still just have this talk to this day where then, you know, people are upset at me because I didn't vote for the white supremacist that they were told to vote for. Because now I'm causing the genocide. Now, somehow, like, this government is so so manipulative again this is how they were able to steal indigenous land and with like 375 trees okay so this is that's the cliffy cliff cliffy cliffy cliff note history of this country and how voting was set up did i even get into how voting was set up right here we go cool they literally set up voting as the illusion of choice duh of course they're picking the people that they want to run the country and even like these people aren't unique everyone needs money so the fact that all these politicians all these entities need money to live shows just if you're intelligent that whoever is controlling the money is controlling everything who profits from war the people who control money not you not the family not the people who are fighting the wars the companies and the people who control the companies and the people who control all the countries that are fighting together and it's just one big energy sucking pile to drain the souls of everyone involved. This is voting in a nutshell, black people, indigenous peoples who were lied to about being from somewhere else so that they would not feel empowered to take their country back and can like just fall more into that victim mindset of like, I'm a slave. I'm, you know, I'm at the whim of things. I need to validate myself to white people because that's black people bro that's like that's black people 
in my experience of life is always like we need to make the white people realize that we're human that's hell like you so you're just living that hell forever as a black person trying to make someone who doesn't see you as something see you as something see yourself as that so that's just where life is a mirror and you can't force anyone to be anything that they're not if people want to be victims and give their power away um all i can do is communicate about that in the hopes that people who don't want to do that will raise their awareness and not do that so we can uh, stop fueling slavery because that's what this is that's what voting for money and voting for these white supremacists and the next people who are going to kill us is it's mental slavery it's you truly not believing in yourself as an individual so i'm about to start directly replying to these comments of uh you know just all these people who are upset at me for uh being an individual because they were taught that they need to conform to the collective and that's the only way that's how this government has stayed afloat for so long all right eliminating individuality that's a story of the bible jesus fasted he healed people he had superpowers the government killed him and then wrote a book and told you that you don't have to be an individual like him and instead you should worship him through them Let's get in it. Yeah, but um, I did just say I was not about to read them verbatim. I am about to read this one because this is actually a family member. And this is a perfect example of black people and conforming to that narrative and how easily the government can manipulate people who really believe in what they the labels they give them, which is black or whatever the fuck. So. My bro. He said, bruh, you helping the enemy. Me. And who's the enemy? My bro replies, Trump. Until you or someone you care about gets targeted by Trump supporters amped up on things Trump said and degrading you or them the same way Trump said it, then maybe you'd see an ounce, just an ounce of why he the enemy. This pissed me off. This pissed me off, and this is why, like, I kind of, like, had to take two months. I'm not saying just because of this, but, like, the whole energy, because these are, um, the psychic warfare is very real, okay? So, this, this was wild because I was almost killed freshman year by three white dudes who openly called me black, said I didn't belong here, when, again, a lie, which is what this video is about. Even these men tried to murder me outside of a train station based on a lie because they were taught that I was from somewhere else when they're the colonizers. This shit is insane. Like, it's actually insane. So then for my black family member to be like, oh, you'll never understand until you're targeted. Well, I mean, I have to, I almost want to say fuck you. And that's why I'll watch myself. Um, but like, that's so incredibly uh, insensitive. But again, you just are not aware that I really deal with this shit. I'm actually out here on the front lines. Like, here's the problem. Hella people want to talk and people want to use voting like their time. So hella of these comments, most people have been conditioned by the government to be docile until it's voting time. And then when you vote, that's your voice. Don't use your voice at any other time. Don't be an individual. Don't build your own shit. No, you're going to use your voice when we tell you to, which is picking one of two white supremacists who we're going to use to murder you for four years. And that's democracy. I voted for myself. Like, fuck that shit. I will get into the spiritual reasons why, too. But we're keeping it grounded. Because um, this is just very, like... This is a psychological warfare that we're dealing with, and I really hope that I'm breaking it down in a clear and concise way so that you don't get lost in it, at least. Like, I don't want you lost. I'm not in control of how people speak to me and I'm not definitely not trying to change anyone's opinion um, directly. All I can do is facilitate conversation and show how these points interact so that you as an observer on the outside can make a more educated decision on what you think is really going on. Yeah, so he didn't know that I was almost killed. What the fuck, bro? Wild. Whatever. So I replied. Man, 
I was almost killed by three Trump supporters my freshman year of college, bro. So been there, done that. I'm just smart enough to know that this white supremacist system created Trump. And he is not the source of the continued genocide that built this country. The system itself stays strong by turning us against each other with concepts of black and white, which were created by Europeans and Freemasons, uh, Illuminati, whatever, in general, to enforce slavery. Now, Americans are mental slaves to the system and the concept of money, and all these politicians are owned by money, meaning they're owned by the people who created that concept. I explain this pretty well reading this back. I can see past all this, so I choose to believe in myself. Cool. Of course, again, this is about facilitating conversation. Logically, the ego, people can only fight. So even if people realize that you're right, they, from a survival standpoint, they just can't show that. They kind of can't. There's too much pride and shit involved with humans. So this is why, again, we're just facilitating conversation, not trying to change anything. My bro replied, nigga. So he called me a nigga right off the bat. Um, that's, that's a word that I, I heard when I was getting attacked by those white dudes. So even like psychologically, he doesn't see that he as a black person is weaponizing what white people have made to hurt us against each other. Like this is, in, bro, I hate this shit. <laughs> Wild. Yo, nigga. Trump doing an outstanding job of turning white and black people against each other. This man really doesn't see the irony, and I love it. I'm really here for it, bro. But on the counter, he doing such a damn good job at it that even a portion of white people are sick of his shit and want to get him out, along with black, along with Hispanics, along with LGBTQ. So he's just throwing a bunch of identifying titles aka words light forms meant to control what can't be controlled aka us um so immediately i'm learning like when people start throwing out even just all these terms to identify humans that's being lost that's being lost in like the idea of like the government and that we're all separated and that once we categorize each other we have an understanding when we are all infinite abstract forms of just like the universe nothingness and we have to create things to represent our nothingness but it's literally like we're in the spiritual warfare in this land where the government has their own spiritual idea of what's going on and they've forced all the citizens to believe that they were created by their idea so you think your consciousness is limited to this earth realm because the government has stolen all the ancient cultures and all the wisdom and knowledge that showed the opposite and created a system and an idea that exacerbates um the complete negative side of all of that so that they can hoard all the positive shit this is the concept of the illuminati by the way that they're the enlightened ones that they're the only ones who deserve knowledge and even they're the only ones who deserve knowledge to an irrational point where they didn't even create the knowledge they will go out to indigenous lands rape murder and steal from all those people take all of their wisdom take all their knowledge and then say that other people don't deserve it and only they do because they were logical enough to go out of their way to steal things this is yeah there we go that's it that's their mentality because they were logical enough to go out and steal it they deserve it more than you as an indigenous person so they think like this is why black panther wakanda is so big if you were able to be strong enough to defend yourself and defend your land, then you deserve it. Then you deserve to be Wakanda. Wild. So, yeah, he said it don't help Trump, but it sure don't help Biden beat Trump. So, yeah, whatever. Again, these are really all, everyone commenting is a really good person. That's like the whole thing. Like, we're going to see that, like, every person who comments is a Biden supporter and that they are 100% just in the mentality of um, anyone who did not vote for Biden voted for Trump because that is how white supremacy has set up this. So they have coronavirus, you know, you're voting for Democrats, you're voting for the vaccine, you're voting for more progress into the new world order, which is just, you know, slavery and all this shit, of course. And now it's just making that happen through cycles. And it's just happening. 
cyclically. And until we believe in ourselves, they're going to keep cycling us through whatever systems that they want and lie all the way through. All right. This is the relationship with a narcissist in a nutshell, like the biggest narcissist ever. All right. So. There's that thread. Other family member came in, face palm, very cute. Someone else came in, not cool. I mean, I, I did reply, believing in myself isn't cool, must be ice cold, whatever. Um, but then this girl started saying, you should take this seriously. And of course, her form of taking it seriously is you should participate and vote for exactly who the news is telling you to participate and vote for because that's democracy and it's our responsibility. This so, man, yo, wild. So another comment from someone else, not cute. Another girl, dude, right? So it's right now just like a lot of uh, feminine presenting beings uh, being upset. Another feminine presenting being, not cool, man. I had a whole long conversation with this person because I know that they're like pretty on it. Um, but again, everyone, well, not everyone, most people, but especially everyone who's commenting thinks that the only way they can make change is the way the government told them to make change, which is once every four years for voting for the one president who doesn't really even run things. They're just representative of what they're doing behind closed doors anyway. And it's always the same shit, genocide and slavery. Another girl commented, what's this? Not even going to reply to that. Here we go. So this girl came in super passionate. Fantastic. Love it. More the same. <clears throat> but of course, she's like, she's really trying to like hurt my feelings. People really try to hurt your feelings, bro. But just know that the more someone tries to hurt your feelings, it's just a reflection of them and how much they hurt their feelings on a daily basis. Because you're just getting their internal talk. This chick writes, congratulations on posting the dumbest thing I've seen today, and that's saying something. We're legit on a stupid slope to fascism with a wannabe dictator and his enablers in the White House, including an administration that is bolstering police to shoot and kill black and brown folks. But good vibes only believe in myself. So what, screw all those other folks? Cool. So... She's trying to frame that, right, I'm basically causing the problem. I'm a big part of the problem because I'm not voting for who she's voting for, Biden. And so now she's putting all this weight of how the government has been murdering and killing my family onto me because I'm not voting for people to do it. She does not understand, of course, with this comment, we're legit on a stupid slope to fascism that the colonization of North and South America in general was the introduction of fascism. The moment humans started trading the dollar bill with the fucking pyramid and the eye on the back with Latin saying New World Order, we're already in a fascist state. So now it's just about manipulating your idea of fascism. Her idea of fascism is hilarious. We're already in it and she is just being manipulated. So this is where... Now, of course, she's hating on the concept of believing in yourself, which the government does a really good job. This is how they keep people trapped spiritually. <laughs> About to, oh, this is how people, this is how the government keeps people trapped spiritually by creating entities like Jesus, murdering them and telling them, telling you that you should believe in them and not yourself. And then creating all these other ideas after that about why you really shouldn't believe in yourself because you're just a meat sack. You're just science. You're just on a dead rock in the middle of space. When behind closed doors, they're connecting with interdimensional entities and weaponizing and manipulating all this alien technology and all this real spiritual shit that they stole and want to keep for themselves. Again, Illuminati, colonizer shit. So... She said that, and this, like, really turned into a whole thing. So I replied, 
Look at how your anger for the system that has enslaved my ancestors has been used to manipulate you to fight the indigenous victims of this government. You've been manipulated by murderers to believe that people who don't do exactly what the news tells them to do are even worse than them. This whole system has been fascist from the start, and choosing anyone they tell you to is supporting that. Pretty clear. Her reply. Because there's really no good logical reply to that. So here's her reply. They are murdering people. That's how they built the fascist government. And this administration's inactive responsibility to a pandemic killed 230,000 people. So this is, uh, here we are. This is exactly what I'm talking about with um, them using this pandemic to, again, make people vote for the vaccine and vote for a slave state vote for the democrat like that's the whole thing that has been set up of coronavirus coming out right before the election and how donald trump was not wearing a mask and he's 75 and he caught it he has no symptoms he's fine we learned that you know oh actually old people don't die immediately. no one's dying immediately it's not even dangerous but of course it is dangerous because the news says it's dangerous a totally different thing we're talking about voting right now but see the manipulation where she has been taught by the government to believe that Trump is responsible for people dying from coronavirus. So we need to vote for the Democrats because they're going to save people from coronavirus when there's really not even a coronavirus to save people from. <sighs> so she continues. The only way to make it better is to do something. Yeah, but what's that something, chick? Our ancestors fought for the basic human right to have our voices heard and to have our votes counted. Here's the victim mentality. I love it. Spiritual weakness, like just right here. Like the idea that you had to fight and toil for the validation of something outside of you because you didn't love yourself enough to just exist. Because that's what we're talking about here. This is what I was saying earlier with this mentality where she now is explaining how she feels like it is her duty to participate in the government because the government said that a lot of her ancestors died to participate in the government. What she needs to know is that the government killed hella ancestors to even create the situation where they can manipulate you to think that you participating in their shit will make them stop killing you. So it's like she's aware that like they're fucked up, but she's still like in this state of like, yeah, but the only way we can change it is if we do what they say. And this is why you can never tell the spiritual age. This like you can never tell a spiritual age of somebody by looking at their body ever. Like you have to like really interact with them. These are like you have to be a really immature young ass spirit, I guess. Like I'm trying to like really see it from the most um empathetic perspective possible and not just like you're you're a bot or like you're a clone or something because like that's some totally other stuff but this is like people care and they're so passionate about what they're supposed to be passionate about but the government is doing such a good job at trapping the mentalities trapping the minds trapping the way people think about themselves and the way people operate so that they just stay in hell and then you die with the government's mind on your shit and you come back here thinking that past lives aren't real. And then you're forced to live the same shitty slave life over and over until your spirit really has to be like, we don't want this anymore. Whatever spiritual shit. So she commented, and we've always and we've always been such a force that they're always trying to stop us. So now she's trying to like pander to my like, hey, we're powerful. So they're always trying to stop us from voting because they know we're so powerful. They gave us a concept of voting. That's insane. Like to think like I, for me to build a system and give you the concept that you need to participate in the system to be listened to. And then for you to think like, oh, the system is always against me. So this is why it's important that I make it listen to me. The fact that you're believing in the concept that you need it to listen to you will keep you trapped in hell because it will never listen to you. You will, you will continue voting for people who will not serve you. That is this government's agenda, that you need to build your own shit. 
This is the start. This is what it looks like. It starts by voting for ourselves. So she just replies, so you squandered that chance for what? A feel-good Instagram post. She's ignoring the fact that I voted um, very consciously and literally for everyone except president. So even this is um, her being completely lost in the idea that only the president matters. Like these people are ignoring all the other seats and everything that I voted for uh, very logically and truthfully. So it's just really showing how like black and white people are and that like they don't even actually care about voting. They just care about the concept and they care about what they're told to care about, which is the presidency. And when the president of not doing anything. So I replied, you are lost in the fact that they are creating these issues in the first place. And the more energy you give them to fix the problems they're creating, the more problems they'll create. This is how this genocidal government works. Make you believe an idea. Once you do, they create problems that only they have a solution to. Once you do what they want, the conclusion allows them to make more problems. Then it never ends. That's the concept of just like keeping you trapped in a square of thoughts. Uh, magic square, magic box, you know, think outside the box, all that shit. This chick replies, they have created concentration camps and have it fixed. Over 500 migrant children can't find their families. Oh, they have created concentration camps. They haven't fixed. Creating concentration camps was the fixing. I don't, like, she's why, like, you can't fix a concentration camp? What? Whatever, bro. Over 500 migrant children can't find their families. Migrant children who were conditioned to call migrant, they're indigenous. They're more indigenous than the Europeans who are saying that they're migrant. I didn't have time for whatever. This administration has a Muslim ban still in place. So it's like such like she she's caring about like humans, but only in like these small little concept that the news is telling her to care about. Um, it's yeah, it's just this is what everyone's dealing with. I understand, bro. The emboldened white supremacy are problems they created and perpetuate. And the government is that ultimate idea. Participating in the government at all is participating in white supremacy. Participating in money at all is participating in white supremacy. You can't tell me that the dollar bill has all these slave masters on it. Literally slave masters. The founding Illuminati Freemason slave master fathers on the money with the pyramid on the back. And tell me that you're not supporting white supremacy by trading that and giving value to it. Being like, oh, George Washington is worth one dollar. He thought you were worth nothing. Why are you valuing these white men that are dead way more than you value yourself? Holy shit. It's whack, bro. So, yeah, she continues. The emboldened white supremacy are problems they created and perpetuate. Only we can fix them. So, she's believing the government in that the white supremacists, the people who created these problems, they can't fix them. Only we only the people who have been fighting for centuries, the indigenous peoples, can fix them. And then, of course, how is she saying we fix them? By participating in the white supremacist system that they gave us <laughs> to control our minds. <laughs> what? Yo. We're leveling up, bro. Let's keep going. Oh, my gosh. Trump right now is trying to get people to stop voting. How is this part of the master plot? All right. To create an issue and then fix it when they didn't fix anything. So now she's just kind of lost and not really making sense. Um, and now we get the chance to. So, she, right. So now she, she's saying that they haven't fixed anything. She's, here's her thought. She's what she's saying. All right. This is her subconscious realm. When I'm looking at these words, here is the space, the feelings that the word is coming from. And then there's the space that the feeling is coming from. These words, her feeling, she's expressing this very deeply to me. She's taking all this time. To, like, this is the point of like why I was like, I voted for myself to facilitate conversation. Of course, everyone thought like, oh, this is 
you're trying to flex. And it's like, no, more so I cared about actually uh, creating conversation, some cosmic conversations so that we can learn from actually seeing more details of these viewpoints interact, right? So she's saying to create an issue, then fix it when they didn't fix anything. And now we get the chance to, and not only are they trying to stop us, but self-centered stuff like this too. So she's saying me voting for myself is self-centered when again, I only voted for myself for president. I voted very literally and logically for all the other positions. She doesn't care about that. She only cares about president. And she believes that it is up to us after four years of one, not voting for Trump and then spending those four years trying to actively get him out and not be listened to. Now we finally have the opportunity after four years of trying to impeach him when we didn't even vote for him to get him out. I want to ask, are you insane? Like, I know my challenge here is to, like, be as nice as pop, but it's just, like, whatever, bro. We're talking. She replies further. We only get old white men in office because old white men vote them in. <laughs> Yo, hilarious. More like old white men built the system only for old white men and voting is a lie. It doesn't matter who you vote for. And also, what if they give you three options and they're all white men? It doesn't matter who's voting for who. Everyone can only vote for a white man. What is she saying? Like, hey, whatever. I love her. Whoever she is. I, I met her like twice. Yet, if you see the results of governments all over the states, they're looking more diverse and inclusive because diverse people are voting. All right, so she's just lost. She's a Democrat. We can see, right? Like, this is just like straight up like, and um, a lot of people watching are Democrats. So you resonate with this and I get it. You know, it's supposed to be progress. You, I understand you can't really imagine society outside of this society. So you feel like you need to just bring the progress here when it's important for you to understand that this society is all built to enslave and murder you slowly, quickly, and everything in between. So you need to build your own society to actually express yourself and be free. Okay? This is what we're talking about. Yet, she continues, yet, if you see the results of governments all over the states, yes, they're looking more diverse and inclusive. Black, brown, LGBTQA. <laughs> so here we are with the more labels, bro. I love it. People feel like they understand people when they're just throwing out these identifying labels. Indigenous and more. How fun. Black, brown, LGBTQA, indigenous and more. Of course, she's not understanding that black and brown are just white supremacist lies to uh, point at indigenous. But again, inaction keeps these dangerous white people in office. So notice she's saying inaction. I'm taking action every day uh, in the spiritual realm, in the mental realm, and the physical realm to break people out of slavery. And I've been doing it my whole life. So I find it hilarious when people want to <laughs> come at me and think that they're actually making a difference because every four years they care about voting. Right. Like these are people who like wouldn't even otherwise really care about this shit on a daily basis. But once the news, once the media is like, hey, it's time to vote, then people want to hop onto the bandwagon. Humans are whole tribal creatures. It's that peer pressure shit. Then they care about things that they didn't otherwise care about when really it's just them caring about themselves. So most of the time people will look like they care about other people just because they care so much about themselves that they don't want to look like they only care about themselves. <laughs> that's, that's like what most, uh, it's kind of, I'm not going to say most humans, you know, that's like not fair, but that's a, that is a fatal flaw in the human condition. We'll say that, um, narcissism to the point of caring about yourself so much that you need to act like you care about other people so that you throw other people off from knowing that you only care about yourself. And that's very much what voting this shit is. Like people who on a day-to-day -day basis, they're not caring about this stuff and like real 
problems, but then once the news comes along and says these are problems, then they'll learn what the news is telling them, and then they'll just regurgitate whatever they learned. Just like we were taught to do in school. Huh. Crazy. It's almost like uh, people were industrially trained by the Rockefeller Foundation and other entities to just regurgitate what the news tells them and what the government tells them so that they never come up with their own individual ideas. That's stupid, I'm sure. Next comment. Yeah, here we go. So she continues. I love it. She says, and of course, coming at me as an indigenous person, also, don't mention indigenous peoples when you threw away a vote while they're also one of the hardest hit by the pandemic and aren't receiving government help nor supplies by the same administration in office. So I've been living my whole life talking about uh how this country is like stolen from indigenous peoples and like building up the intelligence and the way in which I'm able to express that. And I've like dedicated, like literally when I fasted for 24 days, I dedicated that whole time to making an album about the true history of this country spanning from 1492 to 1830 with Andrew Jackson's Trail of Tears. Like I, that like, it's wild how personally offended I got you can hear it in my voice and I have to like observe it so I know that it's just a reaction and it shows me what I actually care about she doesn't actually know me it just shows that like she does not know she, literally she does not know me she does not know how I literally dedicated 24 days of not eating food to creating music to educate people about the true history of how the U.S. took over these lands and are still taking them over. And still, all this is happening today. The Dakota Access Pipeline was just years ago. And it's just more examples of this. And she's trying to weaponize this against me, saying that because I'm not participating in the systems that the people who set, that the people set up to murder me, then I'm actually participating in the murder of myself, is what she's saying. So she's saying that me not supporting the people who are killing my family is supporting killing my family. Makes no sense, right? But logically, because I live in the same world as her and I'm dealing with the same entities and struggles as her, I'm just a different spirit. I can see and I completely get where she's coming from and why she has that idea. And I can now break it down for anyone who, you know, may be formulating it and just can learn from this, basically. Because it's insane. This shit's insane. That's so much uh, psychological and emotional manipulation. You can see why I kind of had to wait a little bit to reply. Because I know uh, if I'm this heated, <laughs> if I'm this heated, other people are like 10 times more heated, bro. I'm a Virgo Taurus. Like, I don't get emotional like that. Emotions are to use. And now I'm using it for the productivity of all of us. So I replied to her, geez, I'm Catawba and Saponi, and my artistic practice is entirely about these topics. It's beyond rude for you to tell a Native American that they need to keep participating uh, in the government that is killing their people, or else they might not care about their people. That's some astounding emotional manipulation you're pulling out right now, but it's okay. My beef isn't with you, even if you think yours is with me. So, yeah, and then she's just, like, commenting more, and this is just, like, her wrapping it up. You could go look. It's There's no, like, value. It's just her then flipping it on me, saying that, like, I'm, yeah, all of my arguments are emotional opinions. Okay, I, she said, I got work tomorrow, so I'm just going to say you claiming all these arguments as to why this was a stupid move is emotional manipulation, while all your arguments are, in fact, emotional opinions is amazing. Um, everything I said was like a logical fact and everything she said 100% ties back to the fact that I said again her whole idea is that we need to vote because the government that's murdering us has set up voting as a way for us to tell them to stop murdering us I could stay trapped in hell if I kept talking to her see how logic keeps you trapped in hell because it'll just never end you can just keep making light from a bullshit space forever and 
it's all up to you as a spirit when other people are doing that, just creating bullshit for you to not get wrapped up in it. And of course, like she, again, with the ego, needs to seem like she's right. So she had to dip out, be like, I'm going to work. You are not logical. All of your arguments were emotional when this is just history and she doesn't know the history and she's not acknowledging the history at all. Like I keep trying to share just the facts and history with her and she keeps regurgitating what she heard yesterday or what she heard this year from the news. So this other girl who uh, is her friend, I met these girls around the same time. She replied, and I think this will be, this will be the last one before we wrap up, baby, because I know this shit is, uh, we're in here. I gotta, I need to meditate after this. I'm trying to go hang out, not on earth. So we're just about to wrap it up with this girl who commented, you could have just not voted. This is wildly narcissistic, look at me behavior. I love this. So this is kind of what like spurred uh, a lot of more ideas about narcissism and the government and why people are like throwing out narcissism at people and me sort of realizing like, oh, it's of course because they are wrapped up in a system that is incredibly narcissistic. So the government is so narcissistic that they are making deals with China, making all this money, making you slave away to give them your energy so that they can give you money so that you can buy the shit that they're making for you all on land that they stole for themselves. And then they're telling you that you can change the way that they kill you based on how you participate in their once a year, once every four years uh, voice system. And then you would have to then believe that they're not manipulating that. So it would literally be the only reason that you think voting matters. The only reason you think voting matters is because you trust the person who openly uh, celebrates the fact that they're raping and murdering you and your family on a daily basis and planet Earth. This is what it takes to vote. So this is why... When I then, one, I voted because of all the social pressure and everyone, all this shit and, you know, family and black people being like, people died for it. Me being like, oh, fine, like, I'll vote. But then the whole reason I did not vote for Biden was because when I was going to vote, well, when I voted for Bernie, when I voted for Elizabeth Warren, she dropped out and then Bernie dropped out. And before all that happened, I was like, I'm not voting for Biden because I know he's evil. And if the system is going to try and set up a situation where I'm forced to pick between a person that they've constantly blasted as evil and a person who I definitely just know is evil, they just don't blast how evil he is, then fuck that. I'm voting for myself. And that's why I voted for myself because I'm not... Uh, I was really trying to think of nice words. So I'm just, I'm in the space where I'm not going to be emotionally manipulated because I'm aware of all these things. I can see how it's all connected. There we go. Because I can see how it's all connected, I'm not going to get lost in any separate lies or any manipulations about how something's not connected. Because <laughs> that's a lie. That is truly like a spiritual lie. If you're going to try and tell me something's not connected. Insane. So. Yes, she said, I could have just not voted. So even this girl, she was like, she felt like me voting for myself as president. When again, I voted for everything else logically. She does not care about any of the other positions. People only care about president. So this girl only cares about president so much that she saw me vote for myself for president and was like, you may as well just not voted at all. Insane. So yes, that's why I replied. I was like, so not voting would be better than voting for myself? That's quite the option. She replied, no. By posting this, writing your name screams narcissistic. If you didn't care about the system as much as you're rationally ranting about, then you could have done research and chosen other options on the ballot. Versus doing this to make a pointless, selfish statement. Nothing about this supports your views. You just wanted shallow likes on Instagram like a regular social media brainwashed slave like you're always ranting about. Congrats on falling in line. 
Now this girl is like coming for it. So she's really like, and this is just a physical representation of all this psychic warfare that she was like throwing at me during this time. So she believes that me voting for myself is narcissistic. She, of course, if I asked her who was I supposed to vote for, she would have told me Biden, right? So she believes from the government, and these are, that's where this government is so narcissistic that they've literally convinced the masses, they convince people that if you believe in anyone but the government, if any, if anyone believes in themselves that's not connected to the government, they're a narcissist, right? So because I'm me and because I'm not on TV and because I'm not out here constantly talking, lying, right? Constantly lying about how I'm going to change the world when these politicians aren't, I'm the, that's the most narcissistic energy I can imagine being a politician. So it's like literally... The epitome of narcissism is this government enslaving, creating genocide, and just stealing this land from indigenous peoples, lying to them about where they're from, and then making them believe that the only way they can be free is to give up their freedom. Because that's what this is. This is people believing that the only way to freedom is to give it up. And giving it up looks like believing in the system and thinking that the only way to change it is through it, a.k.a. The master who enslaved you is totally giving you the tools to free yourself. So, yeah, she's emotionally just really trying to, like, come after me and hurt me uh, about how me believing in myself is narcissistic because I'm actually supposed to believe in the white supremacist who has not only never met me, but I know for a fact is making money on plotting my murder and consistently selling me. Like, I have this social security number, like, I'm already a slave and owned by the system. It's in, this is truly, it's Stockholm Syndrome to, like, the wildest degree. So, of course, like, she's then, like, just pulling out, like, this idea that I did this for likes. When, of course, I did this so we could spark this conversation. But this is where her mind is. So, she does shit on Instagram for likes. And then she's trying to, like, flip that on me. And talk about how, like, that's my view. That my view is this limited. When I'm explaining to you, and I'm going to explain uh, spiritually, we're ending this video with, like, the spiritual shit of, like, what voting is and, like, why I vote for myself, of course. Right now, we're keeping it grounded with all the history and everything. And this is the last comment, so we're about to get into it. So, she said, congrats on falling in line. I replied, I'd say the system is narcissistic for tricking you into thinking... I am voting for myself instead of the one right choice given to us is a form in the form of dementia riddled racist. I say the system is narcissistic for tricking you into thinking I am voting into thinking I am for voting for myself instead of the right choice, which is Biden, especially because you're ignoring that I voted for more than president. She replied, get help. This isn't as woke as you think it is. So, again, like, she couldn't actually logically reply to that. All she could do is um, emotionally attack me more by suggesting that I need help, a.k.a. I need to go to a doctor. I need to go to someone that the government has created and labeled as okay to change my mind so that I see the world the way she wants me to. <laughs> it's, it's hilarious, bro. This is why I'm glad to be able to do this and then facilitate conversation like this this is how the truth comes out i'm not concerned with her opinion i'm concerned with interacting with all of it and seeing how we can learn from it basically and if it makes sense even um and of course that's all she ended with was get help it's not as woke and i replied i'd love to see what her version of help is um, and I also made the point that politicians are way more narcissistic than I could even wish to be. Of course, she didn't reply to that because there's no actual good argument against what I'm saying. It's, it's just going to devolve into people either, you know, making emotional attacks or unrelated logical points that are really just supporting what I already said. If you actually listen to what I already said. Like me talking about indigenous peoples being lied to about being black. Don't then keep talking about black people 
having to do things when I've already explained that even that is a lie. So that just shows me that you're not listening, basically, and I have to save my energy. Boom. And that's essentially everything. That is, I, we have like a few more comments, but this video, we're good, bro. So, before we wrap it up, the spiritual reasons. Because I've already explained, like, logically, the voting, this whole governmental system, um, it's, it was set up to create the illusion of choice or else we would not have had all these presidents and things would not have gone up to this point. So it's still the illusion of choice. Voting doesn't really matter. Uh, they pick whoever they want and you, I, you might as well vote for yourself. So this is where I came from it spiritually. I know for a fact, and this is my perspective, so it's a spiritual fact for me. <laughs> but no, I know for a fact that voting doesn't matter and what they're doing is just categorizing and collecting um, information on the population, right? Like that's what Trump was doing where he wanted to see who voted for him and who didn't. They can already do that. That's the point is to gather your reaction, all right? You're not in control. They're not letting you be in control. But what this government is doing is by making you think you're in control, they can then gauge your reaction based on how you vote. So then they're able to just manipulate you better. So I'm not one for being emotionally manipulated, uh, let alone manipulated in any other way. So spiritually, that's where I decided to vote for myself, even though I still voted for all the other positions besides president. I just knew I was not about to be tricked into voting for a white supremacist again. And never. I'm, I love myself. And I know this government doesn't love me. For a fact, it's only every single day they show it more and more. There's never been one day in the inception of the United States that they've shown that they love indigenous people or else they would not be the United States. So spiritually, it's a ritual. And I was showing my spirit, showing myself that I believe in myself. Me posting that was for me. It is for me. I voted for myself for me. I posted it on my social media for me. I, if I posted it for other people, I would not have because I lost like hella followers. It's a polarizing thing in this sensitive time for me to vote for myself. But it feels right. And it still does because we've gotten to now have this whole conversation and flesh out all this shit. It's pretty cool learning together. I am uh, going to keep voting for myself every day. And I hope you do the same.